Hello and welcome to new education session. Carbohydrate metabolism is our today's topic of learning. Before getting started, I would like to share my screen with you guys. Here it is. Can you see it? Good. By definition, carbohydrate metabolism is a fundamental biochemical process that ensures a constant supply of energy to living cells. The most important carbohydrate is glucose, which can be broken down via glycolysis, enter into Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation to release the energy stored in its bones to produce ATP. Glucose is the body's most readily available source of energy. After digestive process break carbohydrates into monosaccharides, including glucose, the monosaccharides are transported across the wall of small intestine and to the circulatory system, which transport them to the liver. In the liver, hepatocytes either pass the glucose on through the circulatory system or store excess glucose as glycogen. Cells in the body take up the circulating glucose in response to insulin and through a series of reactions called glycolysis, transfer some of the energy in glucose to ADP to form ATP. The last step in glycolysis produces the product pyruvate. These guys are the discoverer of glycolysis pathway. That's why the pathway is also known as EMP pathway. Glycolysis begins with the phosphorylation of glucose by hexokinase to form glucose 6-phosphate. A kinase is a type of enzyme that adds a phosphate molecule to a substrate. This step uses 1 ATP which is the donor of the phosphate group. In liver, a specific isoform of the hexokinase carry out this catalysis known as glucokinase. Do you remember the six enzyme families we studied earlier? This enzyme belongs to transferase family. The enzyme glucose 6 phosphate isomerase converts glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate. This enzyme belongs to isomerase family. Under the action of phosphofructokinase, an enzyme of kinase family, fructose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 1,6-biphosphate. At this point, a second ATP donates its phosphate group forming fructose 1,6-biphosphate. Aldolase then breaks down the 6-carbon sugar fructose 1,6-biphosphate into two 3-carbon molecules, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Aldolase belongs to lyase family. The triose phosphate isomerase enzyme of isomerase family then converts dihydroxyacetone phosphate into a second glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecule. Therefore, by the end of this preparatory or chemical priming or energy consuming phase, one glucose molecule is broken down into two glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecules. The second phase of glycolysis, the payoff or energy yielding phase, creates the energy that is the product of glycolysis. Here, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenate converts is 3-carbon glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate produced during the energy-consuming phase into 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. This reaction releases an electron that is then picked up by NAD to create NADH molecule. NADH is a high-energy molecule like ATP, but unlike ATP, it is not used as energy currency by the cell. 
because there are two glyceraldehyde three phosphate molecules two NADH molecules are synthesized during this step each one three biphosphoglycerate is subsequently dephosphorylated that is the phosphate is removed by phosphoglycerate kinase into 3 phosphoglycerate each phosphate released in this reaction can convert one molecule of ADP into one high energy ATP molecule resulting in a gain of two ATP molecules the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase then converts the 3 phosphoglycerate molecule into 2 phosphoglycerate the enolase enzyme then acts upon the 2 phosphoglycerate molecule to convert them into phosphoenol pyruvate molecules. The last step of glycolysis involves the dephosphorylation of the 2 phosphoenol pyruvate molecules by pyruvate kinase to create 2 pyruvate molecules and 2 ATP molecules. In summary, one glucose molecule break down into two pyruvate molecules and create two net ATP molecules and two NADH molecules by glycolysis. Therefore, glycolysis generates energy for the cell and creates pyruvate molecules that enter into the aerobic Krebs cycle, also called the citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle. This table gives you a brief idea of energy transmission by each step of glycolysis in kilojoule per mole. There are three key regulatory steps in glycolysis which is catalyzed by enzyme hexokinase or glucokinase in liver, phosphofructokinase and pyruvate kinase. The glucose is made available for glycolysis pathway by extra blood glucose or glycogenolysis or gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis is a metabolic pathway that results in the generation of glucose from certain non-carbohydrate carbon substrates, for example amino acids and fatty acids. However, glycogenolysis is the breakdown of glycogen into glucose 1-phosphate molecules. Two main interpretation of glycolysis pathways are hexokinase and glucokinase act independently of the hormonal effect as control at the entry point of glucose into the cell of different tissues. The simultaneously phosphorylation by particular phosphofructokinase and pyruvate kinase prevents glycolysis occurring at the same time as gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. That's all about the brief account of glycolysis. You must consult the biochemistry textbook for finding further detail of glycolysis. You can raise your queries by sending comments on the video and don't forget to share it with your classmates.